A new Conservative government will review Canada's overall foreign aid funding with a target of reducing the overall envelope by approximately 25%. It would be a major shift for Canada on the world stage. With three weeks to go before the federal election, Andrew Scheer decides to roll the dice, pitching a significant cut to Canada's foreign aid. We're going to spend that money here at home on things like our universal tax cut that will save every single Canadian taxpayer hundreds of dollars a year. This new proposal isn't the first major foreign change Scheer has pitched. He also wants to move the Canadian embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Scheer took the opportunity to attack Justin Trudeau's record on foreign policy. Whether we are talking about Justin Trudeau's previous praise for China's basic dictatorship or his gushing praise for the repressive Castro regime in Cuba or his $10 million payout to Omar Khadr, it is clear that on foreign policy and human rights, like so much else, Justin Trudeau is not as advertised. The Liberals call Scheer's plan reckless and risky. Meanwhile, in Richmond Hill, Justin Trudeau was talking about giving municipalities the power to ban handguns in their communities. We recognize, as I said, uh, that the GTA has uh, over 5 million people who could live uh, in municipalities where handguns are flat out banned. Green Party leader Elizabeth May was also in Toronto making a pitch to students. Education at the post-secondary level, like from kindergarten to 12, should be free. And NDP leader Jagmeet Singh spent an unprecedented eighth day in B.C. proposing to invest $10 billion into the creation of half a million new child care spaces. We know that a lot of families are worried about a lot of costs, cost of child care in this room particularly. Leaders will next be heading to Quebec for the first French language debate on Wednesday. In Ottawa, Nigel Newlove, City News.